Hi friends, this is Sadiq Ali from Kelindex Solutions. Uh, today I am going to show you uh, or going to demonstrate you how to include external projects flow in your current flow or current project. Uh, the requirement comes in Moodle for um, in my one of the my current project uh, and the organization and we found that some recommendations that need to be done uh, in Moodle 4 from Moodle itself that uh, first whatever file you want to in use reuse in uh, multiple projects either you can create a jar and uh, you just refer the file and uh, start using the flows in the current project or you can make the dependencies uh, you can create dependencies uh, uh, in Maven uh, terms in Maven repository and you can reuse those dependencies in multiple projects and utilize uh, the flows in multiple places okay so uh, I, 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 will, I want to show you that one thing is that I have created a, a sample project which I have the simple subflow and this one has a simple a VM based uh, uh, flow that I will re reuse this one uh, via some flow shared. Okay, might might be very helpful to validate the project. Okay, so I'll go over here. Uh, let me go to the project uh, in the in terms of Maven uh, here in the repository. You can see this. Uh, you can see um, this is the Mule flow, uh, the shared project location where the all the flows are available but i have currently one single project single flow um so it's not required multiple one see i have only single project right so let me let me go and delete the uh, jars we have, i have right now just i use for my testing purpose let me go I want to remove this one as well. So uh, first, uh, the approach is that which one, which whatever file you want to use or use in external projects or another projects from one project to another project in Mule four, you have to uh, you have to package those files in a, a single jar. If you can see over in any single jar, and then uh, re uh, use uh, install that that jar. As a dependencies, a Maven dependencies in your current lo current repository, in your current local repo uh, desktop repository, and uh, based and define those dependencies in multiple project, and you can reuse those uh, this files logic everywhere in your, any multiple projects wherever you want. Okay, so I want to I go here and I want to create uh, uh, the package uh, the package jar which having this this file this uh, this. Oh, shared project uh, flow okay, uh, let, let's go and see this file jar is file is created you can see uh, the timing was 1801 you can see the 1801 fine so um, let's go and then uh, install this jar this jar in your uh, local maven repository to uh, define the dependency in your project to reuse the those flow flows or the properties of the flow Okay, so you can see that this the Maven Maven repository my uh, dependencies already installed, so not not required to do anything else right now. And let's go and let's go over here and uh, we'll see in the in the, our main flow. Uh, if you see if you go over in my main flow, let me see. Okay, I'm not defined. Let me go and define dependencies. Okay. See that uh, during the creation of the installing the dependencies, I can see that I have defined the group ID skeleton group. Uh, let me go over group ID. Okay, this is group ID skeleton tech. Fine. And you can see the skeleton tech is the my uh, artifact ID. Let me go over over here. I'll show you the artifact ID. Okay. And the version you can see that one dot zero, right? If you go see the version is 1.0. Fine. Uh, let me see what is the problem here. Okay. Let me go to this location. Fine. Uh, 
Okay. Okay, and uh, this is my main main flow. Uh, if you see that uh, I want to use, uh, I want to publish my uh, data in queue, in the VM queue, which I have configured in my external uh, my shared repository shared flow. That shared queue is a consumer, right? It's consuming uh, the data events uh, through the VM. So I am pushing in the VM, and it's going to consume by the my shared uh, the the dependencies file uh, uh, included file okay and you can see over here that this is a shared flow you can see this is a shared flow and shared vm subflow so all all flows are included over here so no need to bother anything let's go and test the flow itself you can see this is the main flow okay, main source I have configured the main source here let's go and test once Uh, let me see is a stop uh, fault let me start again Let's go and test uh, the application. Um, you can extend the request. Let's see over here. Okay, you can see this shared flow one, and uh, this is the VM uh, consumer. Okay, <coughs> so you can see uh, both the flow. This flow is uh, uh, included over here uh, in this as a flow reference. You can see the flow reference shared flow one. Okay, this is a shared flow one, right? This is the shared shared flow one, and that's uh, printing only uh, shared flow one. And in the VM, you can see that uh, using VM, uh, we I'm able to uh, log my request or payload in the logs. So you can see that the, I already used in the in the main flow. I I, I published my request my data to the uh, to the shared shared queue. And you can see that the, it's being logged in the in the log. Okay, so this the approach has mm -hmm. been recommended by MuleSoft itself, and uh, I want to share uh, with the uh, you guys over here that to have better uh, approach. Uh, thanks, thanks so much. Uh, let me know if any other uh, points I have to clear uh, with the same over here, or uh, you need to share any suggestion. Thank, thank you.